Yeah, so we um, we essentially cherry pick like our most favourite moments from each film, like uh, the iconic ones. So obviously, on uh, the episode six, you um, fight the Rancor Beast. That's one of our levels that we've got planned because that's just like a huge moment from that film. So it was really cool to go through the films and sort of pick them out with a fine tooth comb. But also um, on top of the story levels, we've also got these massive hub planets as well. And you can fly between them all and land on like planet to planet and do loads of hub quests and awesome stuff on those. Yeah, so, um, well, um, we just like, essentially like find out the lore behind um, certain creatures that may not even be in the films but might be in the deeper sort of canon like um, we work with Lucas to get that sort of information so for the hardcore fans there's going to be like some really cool like easter eggs. Yeah so um, we really wanted to rebuild the Jedi powers and make them feel really powerful straight from the ground up so um, any Lego object you sort of see in the game world you'll be able to pick up and with a flick of your wrist throw it at an enemy or you can then uh, go move towards other Lego objects and get them all together so you've got like this big torrent of, of Lego that you can just fire at people or um, you've also got Jedi mind tricks which uh, you can make characters dance to like stun them and put them in a daze or um, you can basically take control or force them to like attack their own feet like I like stormtroopers to attack each other. It, it, it's a dream come true. I mean, like, Star Wars has so much lore and so much fiction that we really want to get it right, and they're giving us all the information to make sure, you know, like, the, all of the Orabesh is correct and all of the alien languages as well. So it's really helping us make this amazing game really authentic and true to Star Wars.